for taking some time to chat. Yeah, not every day we have a platinum selling artist who has back to back to back number one songs. Three in a row, Jade. I, 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 that's all my team. That's nothing to do with me. Oh, well, no, no, nothing that's, to oh, do with yeah. you. No, you weren't just on the on songs the song. you wrote and yeah. sang. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> does it does it feel any different for the third time? I mean, at the, well, I didn't know. Like, I, I was very nervous. I was like, that would be really cool to have three con- consecutive number ones. But I was kind of like, whatever happens, happens. But when it did happen, I was a lot more excited than I expected myself to be. I, I was like... Of course. Like, yeah, like... <laughs> Just losing it. It was really awesome. Does no. your son know what a big deal you are? He's, what is he? He's a little over three now, right? No, he's he's a big fan of Blippi. Um, <laughs> I've been oh, replaced. No. He's, if, for those of you that don't know, Blippi oh. is like the new, I guess like 2022's version of the Wiggles. Yes. Ah, um, oh, God. He's, he's good. He's, he's a lot more handsome than me. He's got a, a way... <laughs> Huge catalog. I don't blame Levi at all for, <laughs> for going for I too have a three-year-old. I'm. I thank God that she's not gotten into Blippy, but she is into oh, Coco Melon. So I mean, mm. you know, you pick oh, your poison. You. Yep. That's you can <laughs> always transit. You can always do that that style of music at some point too, Jade. Come on. <laughs> I could. You know that. I think it's easy enough songwriting. I just have to think of like. A random object and write a song about it. Yeah, and then take that tune and use it for ten more songs. Yeah, (laughs) that's how it works. Easy (laughs) melody. (laughs) Just write one melody and and there you go. Or if you're writing for, say, the backyard again, you just have one object and one song, and it lasts for thirty minutes. That's true. That's another one. Anyway, that's not why you called to talk (laughs) kids programming. Although with a child, I'm sure you could talk on end about this. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you, you, you're you in Nashville. You have your son. You have your wife. What What's fa- family life like for you? I mean, down here, it's uh, it seems a lot nicer because we just have a yard. It's always warm. Um, so we're out doing things all the time. So it just kind of took like our family activities that we normally did uh, when we were living in Calgary and just kind of amped them up a little bit and it, it's been a lot of fun for us just being here and, and the community is so nice it's, it's almost like you're stepping like way back into the past because like our our neighbors the first like week we're there all of our neighbors were bringing us like home baked goods and Aww. inviting us over for supper uh it, i was like this is like the age that like my grandparents talked about like <laughs> i was like no like i thought there, there were rumors but there, there are still communities out there like that and you know we're really lucky to be in one you know what it probably is though because I feel like a lot of the people a lot of the people that are in Nashville are probably singer songwriters from smaller towns like you I don't even know where Baileyboro Ontario is like I I'm from Ontario myself but I know Not that it's like I, a po- <laughs> it's like a population of like a thousand people so all of these people come from the small towns where you would have done that for your neighbors you would have had that community and they they're bringing it to to a bigger city so it's like you have that small town yeah. community in a big city I don't know I just made that up that's that that's in. that's true I, I didn't think of that but I, I think you you're dead on the money I think that's I usually am. that's true <laughs> <laughs> Melody knows her southern <laughs> hospitality that's for yeah. sure <laughs> yeah uh, Jade you uh, you you I mean you kind of have that step back into time sort of sound and quality to your music that I think makes you so gosh darn popular and adorable do you agree with so that? Much. <laughs> I, I I hope so I, I really love that kind of like more traditional sound inside of uh, country music so that uh, that's amazing to hear I appreciate that What's a Jade Eagleson show like, say, when you're at a festival, say, presented by Hot Country 1035, Saturday, August 6th at Country Rocks the Hub in Truro, Nova Scotia? That one in particular is the wildest. I'm going to just say that on the record. (laughs) (laughs) Perfect. (laughs) But we we have a a lot of fun. Like, we kind of, we really try to dive into that 90s country feel and then also 
remember that there's you know Gen Zs out there that we might want to play some newer stuff as well. Well, so, <laughs> I don't know. For Gen Z right now, it seems like everything old is new again, right? Like the '90s That's are true. back in a big way. You know what? I I now that you said that, I do realize that I, I'm like hearing songs from like the '80s and, yeah. and stuff again, and I'm like. This, I thought this was cool, and I've been trying to tell people it was cool for years. <laughs> no one will listen to me. Yeah. And the no. Gen G- Zs swoop in and steal my thunder. Yeah, we've been what hearing that. We were just recently saying, like, we were listening to, uh, who is it? Carrie Underwood. We were listening to her recent album, Her too, whole album sounds very, very 80s and 90s. 80s, 90s. Yeah, Beyonce's new song. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, my God. Dance Mix 93. <laughs> this one. Oh, can you hear that? It's so right? 90s. <laughs> Anyway. Anyway, sorry. It does, yeah. Also, not what you came to talk about. <laughs> no. Will this be, when you come here for, for Country Rocks Hub, will this be your first time coming to the East Coast? Uh, no. I, I think I was there on a Gord Bamford tour uh, back in the day. And if I'm not mistaken, I could be completely out to lunch on this, but I think <laughs> the power went out. And we had a really cool, like, acoustic front stage kind of moment when that did happen. Ooh. That's um, awesome. That yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate, but you can't. I mean, that makes it so much more special. I'm assuming. I think it was in the East Coast. I might hear from someone in Thunder Bay after that. <laughs> saying, no, man. Well, Thunder I was Bay here. is east of something, so exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have the most power outages east of Montreal here. That's, we actually do have. We quite probably a, do. Quite a lot of power outages. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any? So, wanted to touch on too the part about uh, your most recent number one song is that you had a contest on TikTok to show up at someone's wedding and sing it. Hey guys, it's Jade Eagleson here, and I'd love to play my new single "She Don't Know" at your wedding this year. You can enter for a friend, a family member, or enter for yourself, and I'll be picking a few weddings to drop into. You did that for somebody. Uh, well, the bride was from Saskatchewan, and you showed up at their, at their Vegas wedding. Yes, that was uh, is so funny how last minute it was. Because um, <laughs> obviously we ran this contest and we did not consider how busy the summer was going to be. And we're like, let's do the summer weddings. And then we're like, all right, like we kind of have to find a day. And we didn't have many. So we found this one and it really spoke out to me because, you know, um, her now husband is a military man and been in the Air Force for 20 years. Uh, stationed out of Louisiana and you know her being from Saskatchewan it, it seemed like a, a really good fit for us so we're like all right we have a week to figure this out they were Jeez. super helpful in you know figuring th- that out with us um, we flew out to Vegas in the night and then flew back like basically the next day like we <laughs> left got back to our hotel and just uh, got out of there it, it was wild do you have any more many more stunts like that planned? <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking we have one more to pick, and we're just like, there's a few more shows coming down the line, I think, and we're just trying to make sure that we don't promise anything that we can't, you know, hold up on our end. Last year, at this time, on this same week, I was talking to Jess Moskaluk, and she said, Which Canadian artist or band would you love to collaborate with that you haven't worked with yet? Um, Jade Eagleson is coming to mind. I really, really love his voice and he's been doing some really cool stuff lately. That was a year ago. Has this happened? <laughs> it, it has. <gasps> uh, I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I don't know what I can say or can't say. You've about said it. enough. Just say it all. <laughs> yeah. We have, we've collaborated. I'll leave it at that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is this the but next not, song we might get to play on the radio? <laughs> I'm, I'm not singing with her or anything. I, I would love that for that to happen someday. She's she's like got such a powerhouse <sighs> vocal and we were writing with each other one day and we were doing like the demo like right after that. Her, her producer and her were working that out and I was just kind of sitting watching it. And for those that don't know, like when you're in a recording studio, it takes, you know, hours on end to get a, a product and she she had it done in like 10 minutes. And <laughs> that just, doesn't surprise me. We've seen her live. Yeah. She's just like, <laughs> sounds the exact yeah. same. Wow. Oh my gosh, I like I, to think that I had something to do with this, by the way, but. I, I think- called my vocal coach and I was like, we need to get to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it takes me way too long to warm up compared to her, yeah. Well, what is what what will we hear from you next, uh, say, on the radio? Well, we're cutting a new one on Friday and then we have 
I think another three or four to kind of add to this album that we've already put out and you know we'll, we'll see we're, we're kind of like what's our favorite we're gonna see how it feels for everybody else and what they like and then and kind of go from there but no immediate plans. Well, if you want our opinion, you can just shoot them down the line. We'll tell you which one our favorite is. And <laughs> right. <Yeah>. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. We're a key part of this whole process, obviously. Obviously. Yeah. I mean, I did set you and Jess up, so. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you so much for joining us, and maybe we'll get to see you in person in Truro when you're here, Saturday, August 6th, Country Rocks the Hub Absolutely. with Hot Country 1035. Brilliant. I'm, let's do it.